Hello everybody, welcome back to more Griftlands. Thank you very much to Clay for sponsoring this video. We got a special jingle the intro, I guess. Link in the description if you want the game for yourself. Let's pop back into it though. You slept through the night with one hand gripping the knife under your pillow, but then you slept that way every night since you were 12. You notice a large box with the Spark Baron's logo on it. Technocratic faction who retrofit new technology from ancient ruins, much to the cult's displeasure. Upon closer inspection, you see Rosma's name on it. You open it to find a shrapnel grenade. Wait a minute. Okay. Shrapnel, I mean, that's pretty nice. Thank you. I'll take it. Gain the battle card, shrapnel grenade. All right. It's early morning, but the Grog and Dog's patrons are already hard at work on their drinks. So I know you thought I should hold off on that bounty, but after last night, if Kashio wants me to be your worst nightmare, I'd like to oblige. And how are you going to do that? She knows you're here. She's got money and goons to keep her safe. What do you got? Uh, you? You're doing right. Lucky for you, I have a couple contacts who want Kashio dead almost as much as you do. You can convince them to work with you. Will they need convincing? Right, so. The Admiralty doesn't trust hunters as a rule, but talk to my contact. You'll see if you can convince her otherwise. But taking out Kashio would be would make space... Would make a space the spree would be more happy to fill. The loosely organized collection of bandits, crime rings, and illegal debt brokers. I know somebody who will talk to you, especially if you can bring him Kashio's head on a platter. Uh, okay. Now somebody who will talk to you, especially if you take... Okay. You know what? Let's ask about Kashio finally. Think it was Kashio to come after you no matter what you did. Well, it's not like he came back a lowly lumen sludger. A biofuel harvested from the ocean floor, monopolized by the cult of Hesh, and harvested by indentured labor. Okay. He probably has an alert out for uh, any bounty hunter who comes into port. Plus, you were asking for info, huh? I thought you said I should keep my head down. Yeah, well, I never forgot what Kashio did, neither. Didn't seem right you'd come home just to let bygones be bygones. And that bounty, it's a big bounty. The biggest, that money could open, we could open three bars. You got a fish, dream big. All right, good deal. So Eb hates us, eyes you with open dislike. Wait, we could provoke him? Why, I mean, why would we do it? Why would we, why would we do it? I mean, like, I guess I'm considering it just to see what it does. They will go out of their way to act against you. The hash do you want? It's got 50 resolve. We have the bartender. We have fish on our side. You know what? Let's just be a punk. Hey, Eb, you've been talking about me. Maybe I have, Grifter. You got a problem with me, Eb? Because you're painting at my painting at my heels like a hungry rock, and it's not a good look. Do it again, I dare you. All right. Uh, okay. Incept three insults. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Added to your opponent's arguments. Three insults reduce uh, insulted. Okay. Oh, incept three insulted. Whenever, uh, okay, reduced by one when you play a non-hostile card. We'll end the negotiation and start a fight if this argument reaches 10? Interesting. We'll end the negotiation and start a fight if this argument reaches 10. Insulted, reduced by one when you play a non-hostile card. Okay. So we could get him, we could basically put them all in the, in his deck there. If we keep playing them, we might start a fight, is effectively what it what it goes to. Insulted. If we play all four, then we could start a fight. If we only pay, play three, we should be fine. I don't think that it, I don't think there's a way it'll go up. Okay, so influence. All diplomacy cards do max damage. We start with that. I would appreciate keeping that. Well, never mind. Apply three composure. Great, we put it on ourselves where it's totally useful. Um, 
well, there's not much we can do here to defend this. So we might as well just say, okay, go in on this. The question is, should we... You know what? Let's get this. We'll do an extra two damage and we'll make another... Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> I've done a bad thing. It just stacks on this one. Oh, no. It's gonna die. So we definitely should have put out dominance instead in hindsight planted evidence when this argument is dismissed deal four damage to the owner's core argument oh he is a fool how dare he okay okay don't love that um if we put down this and this we are totally protected if this card dismisses an argument or a bounty, gain one dominance. Come on now. Three, four. Yeah, boy. Okay, great. So now we got that. Hostility cards deal an extra one. Reduced by one at the start of your turn. Well, never mind. <laughs> You're not half as convincing as you think you are. Yeah, we lost our dominance. It's okay. All right. We don't have... I mean, I guess we kind of just have to... Man, ain't it just the way. We kind of just have to start slinging insults, huh? What's this now? Uh, Ev will steal 10 shills from Sal each turn. This guy sucks. Okay, you know what? Let's do this for the Hail Mary 4. Okay. And then I, I, let's do this to just not start slinging... What the heck is that? Oh, that's the insulted. Okay. So if we fast talk, we don't uh, we don't start up the uh, the insults. Kind of want to save them because I'd prefer to make sure that we won't. Yeah, we're. I, I think we might have picked a fight we shouldn't have here, to be honest. What is in your hand? Gain one less composure from manipulate cards. Destroy. Improvise a card from a random. To compose all your arguments. I need help here. Apply two composure on two random friendly arguments. I guess I'll get rid of this. We can finally, we can just straight up destroy it now. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't love it. Losing influence. We don't have any influence. I don't got no influence anyway. He's got the planted evidence again. What's this? Impatience. Maybe we do want to start a fight. What have I done? So he's not even attack. Oh my god. Oh my god. Interrogate. Targets an opponent argument each turn for four to seven damage. I mean... We kind of need that gone. Please? Oh no. This is a... Uh... This is a tough fight that we shouldn't have picked. Okay. So that blocks that there. Uh, at the start of Eb's turn, incept the planted evidence if the argument does not already have one. Okay. I mean, he's not trying to attack it now. For now, so it's fine. By some composure, I guess. Oh, boy. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna need to heal up after this. Can we just start slinging insults? Uh, okay. Well, there's, there's actually not much we can do here. We can put the three and then double it up to six, but that's just not gonna help us. There's nothing we can do to keep that alive, so we're gonna take that four. I guess... We'll just do this to ourselves. It should protect us, I guess. Okay. Okay, so we shouldn't start a fight anyways. Okay, good. I was worried that our composure would not actually block it. 
Uh oh. Can we concede? Give up and lose this negotiation. Once you play a card, you cannot concede. You know what? I guess so. Sure. Ah, you're all talk, Lifter, Grifter. Leave me alone. I've done a bad thing. Uh, we we have. I'm glad we did that because now we know we can't really just throw uh, throw our negotiations around willy nilly. Some people are uh, are tougher than others. This sounds good though. So it looks like it's gonna add uh, some debuffs to our deck here. Slurred speech two two mana cost. It's effectively just fills up our deck with garbage, and then a one mana cost version of the same thing. I think it's worth it. All right. Well, heck, man. Any cards worth buying? Apply six composure. Expend, destroy after two uses. Ten heal is for battle. Battle, replenish, gain of power. I feel like, uh, let's just go. We're tipsy. <laughs> is our character actually tipsy because of, because of that? That's great. Dang, man. Picking sides. Okay. There's three different ones. Meat Market. Mercenaries are available for hire at Murder Tooth. Uh, suggests that Ulu can get you in the front door of the auction, but you're going to have to stooge for Admirality to get your get her help. Admirality is what passes for government around here, but they comport, comport themselves more like an occupying army. Don't expect to make a lot of friends amongst the people if you pick this side. Uh, Fish says Nadon can sneak you into the auction if you do some work for the Spree. That's more the bandits. Spree's a loosely organized band of outlaws and raiders that survive on the outskirts of Admirality territory. They rob from pretty much everyone and give mostly themselves. Be prepared to run afoul of the law if you choose this path. Oh boy. And then mercenaries are available for hire at Murder, Murder Torch. Let me, I, I'm curious. This seems like it's not picking a side, at least not yet. A motley of opportunists have gathered here looking for an honest day's work. Prices vary, but so does the skill. Okay. So I think it is just, uh, Shake, hello. Potentially hiring somebody. For a criminal merc, it's pretty weak and resolved, but he makes up for it by being quick on his feet. Manasia. Didn't think my day would involve a grifter dealing. Well, we don't have enough money to put. You're too expensive for my blood. You returned. You're too expensive for my blood. All right. We got to pick a side then, it looks like, between... Uh... Mm. Don't expect to make a lot of friends amongst the people. Oh, jeez. Is there a way? Can I... Here, we can look at our relationships. Admirality guard. Spark Baron security guard. I mean... Didn't we kill the Spark Baron's boss? But she still loves us. Okay. Admirality. Got uh, one person likes us from there. One person dislikes us. One person hates us. I mean, I'm already kind of on the outs. You know? I guess I'm already kind of on the outs. Let's be uh let's be an outlaw. Why not, baby? Oh hello, Blaine. He hates me. What do you want? Nothing. So they're just picking sides up there. Proprietor. Good bartender knows how to mix a drink. The better bartenders know how to fix a fight. Urkro does both. Okay. What do you got? Gain an influence, expend, destroy for three uses. You know what? Let's just let's just get on with the quest for now. Hello there. The man meets your gaze with a face like a barbed wire. Nadan, right? I'm Sal. Here you're your guy worth knowing. And I hear you got an extra grind. So I figure, why don't we bury it in a few skulls, huh? Word is you're after the biggest bounty in the bay, Cassio. And I guarantee you won't get anywhere near her without me. But I and my help don't come cheap or easy. You do good work and survive to reap the benefits, then maybe we're in business. Uh, what's the work? What's this work you have me do? Favors. 
Yeah, it's uh, right. It's illegal, I assume. That's up to you, Wayne, and I will care about the results. If you find a way of getting me what I want while playing nice with the law, that's your time wasted, not mine. Shikashi will be there herself. She might just send her goons to do a shopping for her. Ain't about getting the goods this year. Big decisions are getting made. The Admirality wants to annex, and they need the cult on that side to do it. The cult of Hesh. The dominant religion in Haveria, whose adherents worship Hesh, an abyssal jellyfish god. Hey, cool. His citizenship would make most sane Havarians choke, but it goes down smoothly with some Heshian wisdom. And guess whose life got a whole lot harder if labor contracts get regulated? The biggest debt broker in Grifflands, I suppose. The annex is a wrench in her whole operation. She'll be there to make sure it doesn't happen. So take that wrench and yank it. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. I get you're the one with the man's pal, but I like to know who I'm working with. Yeah, I can't say I blame you with that fish out of water stink. If you were from here, you have heard of me already. The Scourge of Murder Bay. Folks actually call you that? I don't know. I never asked. I'm not much of a conversationalist. Huh. And uh, you know what? Fine. Kashi, I don't care about that reality right now. They're punks. We're against them. Hold up. What exactly is it that you're offering? You want Kashi? I can get you Kashi. A few days to call you rolling to Murder Bay for the annual antiquities auction. They sell relics, holy pardons to th and holy pardons to them that can afford it in exchange for labor contracts and other illicits. That sound like Kashi's market, but the auctions sound the auctions like that have exclusive guest lists. That's where our business arrangement comes in. I can get you in the auction, but only if you prove you deserve it. Let's do it. Contract's a contract. I'm happy to be in business with you. Oh, uh, Ulu dislikes. Oh, look at Ulu! Glad you're convinced so easy. You do good on these favors, maybe, Will, or as a cop cop copacetic as you say. And Kasha will be all yours. First order of business, take this. Pick your spree card. Whoa, cool! Oh, this is like a, it's almost like a, like a class, sort of, huh? Apply one wound whenever you attack for the rest of the turn, and then remove it for the rest of battle. The next attack card is played twice expend. That sounds more easy to utilize. What is it? Tell, this will tell the people you're under my protection. Nice, I've wanted to, always wanted to learn a secret handshake. So put me to work, boss. I'm here to impress, ain't I? You're hungry, that's good. You know, I'm happy to work with the Admirality. I'm happy to work with the Admirality that can be brought to heal, but Kagwa has proven stubborn. Kagwa's got influence that's useful to me, so I want her under my thumb where she belongs. You're not my usual witless goon. Figure it out, Hunter. That's an order from your commander. Okay. Pick a graft from a random draw. Cool. We get this one right away, and then we get these ones later. Right. All right. I do want to take a take a peek at our deck here, especially, you know, it's a daily series, so uh, you may forget as well, or you may jump, be just jumping in. So we kind of got uh, a bit of a combo-focused deck now all of a sudden. So, like, a yeah, combination. We do have Carve, which will spend those combo points to apply wounds, which, you know, it's synergish, but not fully synergy. <laughs> it's like it uses the combo points, but I don't know if that's quite what we're looking for right now. So, maybe if there's a way to remove, I might. But other than that, we haven't been adding a whole lot of stuff. We got a couple uh, items effectively left in here. And, uh, yeah, what else we got? Oh, yeah, we got this, which if we discard this card, and we have... Uh, where's the other one? The wind-up. If we discard these cards, they get uh, they get value. So we have Reckless Swing to discard them. That's right. Okay. Kind of just as much a, uh, a reminder for myself as anyone else there. Finisher gained one counter per combo. Deal two bonus damage per combo. I mean, like, that sounds great. Simple but great. Let's do it. Open up the map. Let's get in a tussle. Okay. Spree wants Kadwa to lose your current position. You could get them fired, make them quit, or just wipe them off the face of the planet. Whatever's convenient. <laughs> just a little, just a little cold hard murder. That's all. Listen to what you're told, or else. I don't have time to deal with your nonsense. I'm sorry. I'll figure out something, I promise. 
Pazlok seems to have some dirt on Kadwa. Perhaps you can get some useful information out of him. Yeah. Yep. Or we can pay him to help us. How much? Might be a bit of trouble coming. You looking to make some cash? Help you in a nego negotiation. Let's see what's going on here. Convince her to leave her job. We already have Zeta's help here. If we attack, then Zeta's on her side. If we convince, then Zeta's on our side. Because he's guarding the location. All right. So we're totally, 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 unless... Pay Zeta to look the other way. Oh, we could get, oh, interesting. We could pay him 45. We could pay him 45. We could beat the heck out of this, <laughs> this poor slug woman. Because, uh, I mean, she doesn't look that strong. But also, we if we convince we've already got Zeta on our side, you know what? Let's convince Pazlok to give us information. It seems like the natural idea here. Notice you were talking to Cadwa. What's going on? Doesn't sound like any of your business. Maybe I can help you out. You don't want to be on the wrong side of this. When dismissed, receive 30 shills. I mean, I would like to try. Okay. I mean, this is, you know, six composure. And you know what? I'm going to I want to get this out of my deck for good. What's this here? Suspicion. Dis diplomacy cards deal one less damage. I mean, who said we have to be diplomatic? I do want to get rid of that, though. Zero to two. Actually, if we do this, this does, uh, yeah, it won't do very much damage, but we'll also get our max damage thing going on here where we can get the two damage. Boom, baby. All right. Fazlog has his doubts. Draw a card, play with a random target. Let's do it. Oppress. Haha. <laughs> I just did what? Just did two damages randomly there. Apply two composure to all your arguments. Um. Incept one flustered. Reduce damage by 33%. Incept two vulnerability. Yeah. I want to see if we can... Uh, there we go. We can protect ourselves. Good deal. Guaranteed two damage or one to four. Let's get this out of here. I do want to get that... That $30. $30. It sounds pretty nice. Invulnerable. It's just for one turn. I don't know. He doesn't seem like he's too spooky. Bone tired. When dismissed, he loses nine resolve. Oh my god. Poor man. I feel a little bad right now, to be honest. Apply to composure. I can't. Come on. Alright. Just don't want to. Don't want to take resolve where we don't have to. If we do this, we can get our influence back. Save it. We might be able to uh, justify getting this wealth ex wealth extractor a brew in here. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I am a okay with that. What? Fine. I want money. Give me the 30 bucks. Thank you. Gains three composure whenever Sal creates a new argument. And Pazlock's intense in arguments deal plus two damage. Deploy with extra resolve. So yeah, it seems like the longer it goes on, the spookier it, it gets a lot of time. Oh. Heck. Is it because it over it overkilled? Seven's incoming. Apply three composure. We can get eight. Just with one swift motion there. Not bad. It's not going to obviously end him, but there we go. Let me tell you something. I'm so tired. 
I don't care, man. When dismissed, he loses nine resolve. Oh, man. I feel... I feel a little bad. Fatigued cards no longer gain XP for this negotiation. Could we possibly... Okay. Big money RNG. Big money RNG. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Fast talk and oppress. Okay. So fast talk. Just our simple card. Gain three composure. Draw a card. I feel like I was kind of... I'm kind of lacking some composure. Okay. One to eight... Or if this this guy, uh, card discards any argument, gain two dominance. I like the thought of that. Making it more likely for us to get the dominance sounds good. All right, double composure on all your. I mean, this is a very good card, especially if we do get the uh, the upgrade of the apply three and then double. It's actually kind of busted. Attack a random target, evoke, play four hostile cards. I don't know. I feel like I feel like this is a. Uh, we got to be going more hostile. Target argument loses to resolve. You gain to resolve. I feel like this is just very good. Has luck deflates. All right, here's the deal. Explains that Kadwa isn't who they claim to be. Okay. Minus 20 resolve because of the blackmail information. Oh my god. You don't want to be on the wrong side of this. We can get another $30. That sounds great. Let's get some of that. Boop. Give me your $30. Thank you very much. Dang, that that is pretty slick. Oh yeah, she's got the uh, the abuse of power. She's got the the planted argument business going on. Is there any way we can kill? Target's opponents for two D. Let's see. Three six. Let's see what happens when we play unstable. Okay, well I mean that's nice. We could just go all in and, and hope. Come on. Come on. RNG. Thank you. Seven damage. I love that card. Fast talk. Got an upgrade. Probably same thing. Sp oh, no. Different. Spend an influence to this. And this card costs zero to play. You know what? Sh should we? No. No. Let's keep let's keep a little bit of a thematic, a little bit more defensive stuff going on. Spend an influence to deal an additional four damage. That's pretty. Now that's pretty interesting. Gain two influence and apply three composure to it. Huh. Three smarts. Smarts is the one that gives you an extra action at the start of your turn, but also to vulnerability. So three smarts would make it so you get three extra actions at the start of your turn. But also, well, I mean, that sounds pretty good, to be honest. I'm tempted to try to keep our deck a little bit thinner here, though. So we do just keep adding cards. I'm gonna do I'm gonna decline for the first time. I wanna get some money. Caught with the plates. I'll do as you say. Just hope someone else picks up the torch. Oh, easy peasy. Do we want Sporn? Gain a bonus defense on all cards that play defense. That's right. That does sound pretty good. I love you, Zeta. Todd was out of the picture. Need will have a reward. We might get interrupted on the way there, though. Yep. 
had a sneaking suspicion. You're stopped along the way by an admiralty patrol swinging up their batons with some showmanship. Uh oh. It's Dhoni. Dislike. She doesn't hate me. You, Grifter, get over here. There's a pompous curl to her lip that suggests you're in for a heap of trouble. Best watch yourself. Road's under renovation by the admiral. You want through, you need to pay the toll. Otherwise, we got license to be authoritative. Oh, man. She's got additional 10 resolve just because she doesn't like me. And she's got another member of the party. I almost think that we just pay the... Uh, you know what? I gotta check something. So he's a patrol leader. She's just a goon. If this guy was really tough, I would imagine this might be an easier one. She's if she's just if she's just a goon. Oh man. I'll try it. I guess we can we can always concede. Gain an influence expand, gain dominance. I mean, you know what? We actually have reason to use the dominance here. I mean, it's the same if we use this or deflection. So I guess maybe we should have used deflection to try to level it up a bit. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Stinking. All this stinking planted evidence. Definitely doing that. Two to five. We might be protecting all that. Oh, we could have got lucky. Okay. So we're protecting everything on us. We could protect everything here. Ah, oh, zero. Okay. I can make this work out for you. I mean, if we have, like, AOE resolve protectors, fighting the, um... The people who have abusive power might actually not be too bad. Um... Let's see if we can kill this with two. Thank you! Oh no! <laughs> I thought that maybe, uh. Wait, this was the one that was upgraded. Improvise a card. Well, it's it's actually it's fine. We're gonna take four, which we're gonna block anyways. We're gonna try to. Oh! Not great. Don't want her to take my money, really. Also, the overflow does deal damage to her, so. Yes, an over. Wait, what? I missed that. I guess because the one did damage and then the three. It was the over the overflow, but then. Huh. Oh, because it did oh, it did the four damage and it did the, the overflow. That's why. That makes sense. That makes sense. You know what? Well, let's start with quick thinking. Except to vulnerability, I'll resolve last. Okay. Zero to four. If we do this, we are totally fine and protected. In fact, we're like Omega protected. Do a little slap in there. Not half as convincing as you think you are. I mean, I know. Impatience. Uh oh. Okay, come on now. I'm really counting on you. Thank you. Okay, we're still taking six to the face. I guess we do this, right? See, that's why I added the composure to those. That's, that's really solid. We got to speed things up, though, because the impatience... Getting a little, uh, a little antsy, to say the least. Uh-oh. Uh... Uh-oh. Can we kill? 
If we do dominance, we could do two. Got two damage. Two to five, two to five. It's, and then zero to three. It ain't super likely. I'll tell you that. We're going to take three, five. So we're going to take uh, the five, three. So we're going to take uh, seven, and then we're going to take an extra four. That is a ton. Does this actually net us more? I know we're going to lose one of the influences, and that's okay. It's fine. We're going to take some damage here. I'm well aware. Yikes. Yikes! Oh, so we didn't pay $100. Okay. Okay, we should be fine. Right? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Even if that didn't work, we would have had the extra two from that. Okay, that was rough, but we have so many upgrades now. Apply three composure and then draw a card. Apply four composure to all of your arguments and then expend. I mean, we're apparently, like, going to... We're probably going to be fighting quite a few of the Admiralty. I, I like the thought of maybe having one that of that kind. Apply six Composure and expend. Restore five Resolve, apply si five Composure, and then destroy the card permanently? There's something to that in a way. resolve because then we'd be getting the card out of our deck which is something you kind of want to do sometimes let me look at my deck because we have this that 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 I'm actually going to do it I'm actually going to Gonna do it in a weird way, I guess. Six and then destroy. See, I kind of I'm gonna do that because I wanted I want to get some of this uh, stuff out of my deck so it can cycle easier. Okay, a, one to two attack twice, so it does a minimum of two now instead, and then a maximum, same maximum of four. Um. Or one to four and draw a card. I like the idea of that. Same thing. Kind of just want the uh, the more basic cards out of my deck. And plus, we're kind of uh, in a weak spot right now. Oops. I did a goof. I think I did a goof. All right. Attack random target once. You know what? Because we have to we have to deal with upgrading them too. I'm a hunter officer and I'm on the job. If there's a toll I should be paying, I have to pass that expense on to my employers. And they want a receipt with your name and everything. It's just a bit of fun, Hunter. No need to get nasty. Be on your way then. Don't he steps to the side, refusing to meet your gaze and allows you to pass. Yikes. I kinda kinda wanna go back to the Grogan dog. At this point, see if we can, uh, we'll, we'll heal ourselves up. 22, I mean, is there any way we can get even an even better relationship with fish? Man, we're putting a lot of trash cards in our deck, though. Did we get rid of the other ones? Oh, they're in our melee deck. There's one in our, one in our negotiation deck, and now there's two in our melee deck still. All right. 
Well, that is actually going to be where we're going to call it for today, though. I'm having so much fun with this game, guys. I hope you are enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying playing it, which is, like, a lot. <laughs> so stay tuned for tomorrow where we're going to be continuing the daily episodes of Griftlands. Thank you to Clay for sponsoring the series. As I said, link in the description, very top of it, if you want to get the game for yourself. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for cur or currently daily. I mean, <laughs> always daily, uh, daily roguelike videos and more. Thank you, thank you. See ya uh, next time.